Today is day 20 of our 21 days of prayer and fasting, which means that tomorrow is our last day. I don't know if you have plans to fast all day tomorrow, but I know my fast will end tomorrow around 10 a.m. My church does a big prayer finale, and so that's like a nine o'clock service that lasts for one hour. So once that's done, I'm done. So I don't know what you plan on doing, but tomorrow I'm gonna have a catfish platter in front of me and I'm going to devour every part of it. But anyways, let's go ahead and get into today's devotional. Today we'll be reading in Philippians chapter two, verse three, and this is a passage of scripture I spent a lot of time reading last year. This passage always puts me in check because it talks about selfish ambition and it talks about putting others before yourself. So let's go ahead and read it and then I'll elaborate afterwards. Paul wrote, do nothing from selfish ambition or conceit, but in humility count others more significant than yourselves. Let each of you look not only to his own interest, but also to the interest of others. You know, a lot of us are fasting for a variety of different things. And obviously the things that we are fasting for, we are desperate about. You know, we have a lot of hope and trust that we're putting in God to make a way for us and to make things clear. Last year, this was me whenever I was doing the 21 days of prayer and fasting. And one of the things that the Holy Spirit really led me to do during that time was to lay down myself, to die to myself. I think something that we have to remember as Christians is that we are vessels for the Lord. There's nothing wrong with having you know, dreams for your life and goals, but something that we have to do is continue to bring it back to God every time. That's how we keep ourselves from falling into selfish ambition. That's how we keep ourselves from looking um, only to our own interest instead of looking at other people. And honestly, whenever I saw the needs that people had, especially women, that's what really prompted me into submitting myself to God and saying, okay, Lord, let's do this because all these things I want are not as nearly important as what these people over here need. And if I have the resources to help, you know, if you've given me the knowledge or the wisdom to be able to help someone, that's where my focus really needs to be. So as you continue to go throughout this day, this week, this year, I want you to just go to God and I want you to pray not only for the things that you need, but also for others. Put others first. Don't just look out for yourself, but look out for the interest of others. And there is something that God will do inside of you. He'll change you. He'll begin to change your, your perspective. He'll begin to give you a passion for different things and, and areas people might struggle in that you did not have before. And so press into him and remember, the plans that God has for us are always better than the plans that we have for ourselves. Let us pray. Father God, I want to thank you right now just for using us. God, thank you for allowing us to play a part in your plan for redemption, God. And I just thank you that we have this special revelation, God, of really knowing you. God, I thank you that you are not a mystery to us, that you're this far off being. God, I thank you for the relationships that we have for you, God, the intimacy that we share with you. Thank you for speaking to us, God, and thank you for using us despite our sin, despite our shortcomings, and despite our failures. God, right now, I just ask that you would um, help us to love people, God. Help us to look at people and have compassion for them. Help us to have mercy and grace. God, I pray that in those times where we get so distracted with our own selves and our own lives, that Holy Spirit, you would just gently remind us of what really matters. And God, I also thank you that the things that we face in life matter as well, God. And I just thank you that you pay attention to our needs. But God, I pray that we would never stop serving others, but that we would continue to make a difference in this world and be used by you to spread your gospel. It's in Jesus' name that I pray. Amen. If you enjoyed today's video, be sure to leave a comment below. And if you have not subscribed, go ahead and click that subscribe button. As always, give this video a thumbs up and share it with a friend. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Take care.